Hello! Hi everybody! I'm Roxy Flores and I'm one of the head coaches here at the Face Yoga Method. I'm just here live because I wanted to come in and just um, share with you my eye routine, my eye face yoga routine, which I, I like to personally do quite um, often when I'm sitting on my computer or I'm watching TV and I noticed that um, a lot of you um, ask a lot about the eye area and so yeah I just wanted to come in and I wanted to share with you my routine and I did want to talk a little bit about the eye so I'm just gonna wait for more people to show up and while um, I wait I just wanted to ask a question so my question is um, which part of your face did you first see the signs of aging so if you can comment below and let me know um, that would be great and we can wait for just a bit more people to show up but for me where I started to know or see the first signs of aging was definitely my eye area and it's not um, crazy or you're not wrong in thinking that because our eye area is very delicate and so a lot of times um, we forget how delicate this area is and we rub it or we have bad habits with it or we don't put enough moisturizer on there so that's not good so if you have any comments um, regarding this let me know below I want to know tell me tell me which area did you first start seeing the first signs of aging let me know all right so while we wait um, well actually you know what let's just keep going uh, I, I'm just gonna get into it and whoever decides to like jump in and join us that's great and I am gonna share my eye routine um, and I hope it's valuable to you because this for me I do it all the time because I tend to carry a lot of tension on my eye area and my forehead so I think it'll be good um, that's why I wanted to share it because we do carry a lot of tension Oh, sorry, my, my battery's low. Ah, okay, I'll try not to take too long. Anyways, so let's talk about the eye area. Um, I wanted to do a little experiment, and some of you maybe have done it, and you may know what I'm going to ask, but if you know what I'm going to ask you, it's okay. Just join. It's join. Let me get my mirror. Hold on, sorry. Actually, no, you get your mirror. How about you get your mirror, if you have a mirror in front of you? Get your mirror and what I want you to do is to open your eyes as big as you can. So if you have a mirror, open your eyes and tell me what you see. If you see that you are opening your eyes and you're doing this, guess what? You are using your forehead to open your eyes. And this is important to know because what ends up happening is that we keep using our forehead to open our eyes and then our eye muscles get weak. And so you end up having, um, you end up looking tired, your eyes end up looking smaller. And so we're going to do one of the poses that I have for you is definitely going to help you with that. But I want to share my picture because I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. So when you open your eyes and you use your forehead, you're not using your eye muscles. And this is what happened to me when I used to use my forehead all the time to open my eyes. So ah, I don't know if you can see my picture. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong picture. That's the picture of my dog. Hold on a second. I think I pressed the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. There's my picture. Can you see my eyes? 
sorry my ring light is in the way but I hope you can see how small my eyes look in this picture and everyone used to tell me or, or ask me like Roxy you look tired and I was like what are you talking about they're like you look so tired and I was like oh my gosh I don't I don't understand I, I actually get a lot of sleep and I don't feel tired so we're gonna work on that because I want you guys to start using your eye muscles to open your eyes and also I want you guys to start releasing some of that tension around your eyes because tension creates wrinkles like guys tension creates wrinkles I want you to think about that and so if you're always like squinting or or doing other things with your eyes or super smiling and using your eye area a lot and you're building tension there so we're gonna release it and if you guys are ready we're gonna start and I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that you guys join me in this routine so let me just get myself comfortable here and so the first thing I want you guys to do is of course to sit up straight I want you guys to um, look at your shoulders make sure you're straight you have good posture because this is important you don't want to do any sort of eye routine or facial routine or face yoga pose when you have bad posture and if you can carry this posture throughout the day even better so work on your posture so yes first thing we're gonna do is just just posture and I want you to just close your eyes and we're gonna breathe in and out breathe in and breathe out the reason I asked you guys to breathe in and breathe out and close your eyes is because throughout the day we are so busy doing so many things and you know you're just so I don't know like you just feel this energy like I have to do this I have to do that so I want you to just close your eyes and relax and breathe in and out let's do it two more times ready breathe in and breathe out Whew. Good job. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Now that we're centered and we're going to do our face yoga routine, you guys can do more breathing on your own. If it feels good to you, that's cool. But now what I want to do is I want to do tapping. And we're going to start with our forehead, tapping our forehead, and then we're going to go down to the eye. So before we start tapping, I just want to say that make sure your hands are clean. Uh, mine are clean, I just washed them. And make sure you guys have some moisturizer before you start doing the face yoga um, exercises because like I said before, our eye area is so delicate and we want to make sure we take care of that. So. This is my DIY cream that I made. Thank you, Fumiko, for this awesome recipe. So I use that all the time and I just dab it around my eyes. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start tapping. You guys ready? Okay, let's do this. So I like to tap, I would say for at least, um, I would say like a minute. I find that when you tap for a bit longer, um, you really, stimulate um, the skin and you also stimulate blood circulation and you know what <laughs> it just feels so good I carry a lot of tension here around my forehead um, and especially around I would say um, my eyebrows I don't I don't know why so I like to focus more here because you know what, when you're tapping, you're actually tapping acupressure uh, points um, that are around your face. So this is great for stimulating that and releasing some of the tension before you start doing your face yoga poses. Very important, guys. So now I'm just going to move in to the bottom here. And when you're tapping down here, guys, like I... I totally and I really recommend that you tap lightly more lightly than what you tap here on your forehead 
because down here is very delicate. So just tap around the eyes slowly and you can even close your eyes as you're doing this and just feel the sensation of the stimulation of your tapping around the eyes and just enjoy it, you know, enjoy this time. Like this time is really for you. This is like your self care. This is your like, ah, you know, let's, let me just take a moment for myself and let me just relax and let me do some something good for me and release some of that tension because I don't know if you guys know but when you carry tension it's mostly around the face area I feel like we carry a lot of um, emotions and so tapping is great because you're stimulating all of that and all of that circulation so okay I think this is good for tapping I mean, I like to stay a little bit longer, but this is fine. Um, you guys can do it for a bit longer if you like, but um, if you close your eyes and you breathe in and out again, and just, just feel around where you've tapped, and you can actually feel the energy around there, like stimulated, and I just, it just feels good. It feels like relief to me. So that's my first thing that I like to do, but. The other thing that I like to do aside from tapping first is I like to squeeze my eyebrows and there's three acupressure point points around your eyebrows and I like to squeeze them because like I said for me I feel like I carry so much so much tension here and especially here around my eyebrows so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pinch um, you don't have to pinch so hard because we don't want to create more lines or anything bad, okay? So what I want you to do is just with your thumb and your index finger, we're just going to pinch around here, okay? Because this is, this is a good acupressure, this is one of the acupressure points. And you can open your arms and remember to have good posture. And if opening your arms is too hard, you can just do this. We're just going to squeeze a little bit and now we're going to move on to the next acupressure push which is here in the middle of your eyebrow so you can just squeeze slightly not too hard because like i said we don't want to create more wrinkles or do anything bad to ourselves so perfect and then we're just going to squeeze at the edges because this is another point that is great to stimulate so awesome now i want you guys to just come out breathe in and out and just feel the sensation of where you've kind of squeezed to release just a little bit more tension great now open your eyes and what we're going to do now is we're going to do this amazing um pose which is one of my favorite because this pose is called the binocular eye opening pose and what this does is it helps you to stop using your forehead when you open your eyes guys this is like one of my favorite poses like i said this is why this is my go-to routine when i'm doing my eyes because i have a lot of tension there and i want to make sure that i'm using my eye muscles and not my forehead muscles to open my eyes so let me show you first what we're going to do and um, then you guys can follow along make sure you do it right this is I want this is why I want to show you first because I want to make sure that you guys do this right okay are you ready so we're gonna make C's with our hands all right and what we're gonna do is of course you need to have good posture and what we're gonna do is we're going to place them around our eyes and I want you to notice something. When you're placing your hand around your eyes, I don't want to see this space here because we want to get the most benefit. So we're going to put it close to our skin. You see that? And if you can't do it here, this is you can't like close the gap, you can move it and adjust it. That's okay. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our things here, thumbs go here at the edge of our nose. We're gonna place our hands 
adjust them and then we're gonna slightly open up here do you see do you see how my 11 lines kind of open up a bit see that I'm gonna open like that slightly and then we're going to put just a bit of pressure so that you don't um, lift the eyebrows and I don't want you to do this that's not what we're gonna do so we're just gonna put a light bit of pressure and we're gonna open your eyes as wide as you can and we're gonna hold this pose for five seconds just because we want to make this a bit quicker just because my battery's running <laughs> anyways so let's do it together now let's grab our hands make C's you can adjust it if this is too hard for you you can modify like this if you can't quite get this right it's okay you can do this all right or you can do this it's all good you do what works for you but I'm gonna show you this way because this is my favorite way so ready shoulders down and place your hands and open your eyes and now we're going to squeeze ready and hold this for five seconds ready one two shoulders down three four breathe five and come out Whew. wow that felt sorry it's hot in here <laughs> that feels so good let's do two more sets you guys ready all right so we're gonna again make our C's no gaps pull a little bit and if you feel like you're like really doing this maybe when you pull just pull up a little bit high ready here we go let's do it for five seconds again open your eyes as wide as you can and we're gonna hold for five seconds one two three four five and come out Ready? One more set. Let's get our, our, our C's again. Put them around our nose and our eyes. Make our C's. Open up. When we open our eyes this time, we're going to squeeze them like we did the first time. You guys ready? So open your eyes as wide as you can. And we're going to squeeze. Ready? One, two, shoulders relaxed. Three, four, five, and come out and close your eyes. Whew. Wow, I can feel that. Where do you feel it? How what do you guys think? And after that, you guys can just tap again slightly, just for a little bit. Oh, wow, that feels so good. Well, and that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my routine. Um, like I said, I do this all the time um, when I'm sitting in front of my computer. And one tip, I want you guys to make sure that if you haven't really practiced face yoga for that much time, um, make sure you have a mirror with you. Practice with a mirror because I want like I can see myself on the video here but I want you guys to make sure that you're doing these poses correctly and like I mentioned you can modify them if this is too hard and uh, I can't get the C just modify it and see what works for you the point of that pose is for you to train your forehead not to move when you're opening your eyes right so that's it for me guys i'm so excited to be here and i was it was a pleasure to show you guys my routine and i'll be back again so you guys can wait for me again share another awesome routine with you guys all righties okay guys i love you